Hi, I'm Matthew Yates, and this is my Fall 2013 Honors Project. Uh, I'm doing this for College Algebra, and my project is titled The Real World Applications of the Taylor Series. Now, the Taylor Series is a derivative of sine and cosine. It can be applied to find the height and distance of an object as represented in this graph here. <coughs> it is a simple problem that is represented by theta minus theta cubed over 3 factorial plus theta to the fifth over 5 factorial for sine and 1 minus theta squared over 2 factorial plus theta to the fourth over 4 factorial for cosine. Now this may seem simple but it requires a higher level of thinking for than regular college algebra because I have to take into account the fact that uh, 1 degree is equal to pi over 180 radians. And then also, after that has been applied to the equation, it must be multiplied by the hypotenuse to give you the variables which you are looking for. It will give you these, uh, the hypotenuse and theta with this robot here, the sensor. And it can tell by moving up and down. And it will shoot a laser that will record the distance. Now, let's see. This can be used to improve the robot's autonomous capability and will take away the user's focus on controlling the robot and allow them to focus more on the information being provided. And this robot can be used in fields such as fire and rescue, and it can be equipped with an infrared sensor, such as this one, to detect the uh, heat of the flame, and also with the camera to detect things such as the volume of the fire, and it'll allow the fireman to set a more the best possible course of action. And then it can also be used in law enforcement by attaching it with bomb detection, cameras as well, and also with things to neutralize threats such as pepper spray, tasers, or gas. And in the military, this can be used for almost anything because it is being used today, such as <clears throat> robots that carry equipment for soldiers or support them or just bring in more water, which is very helpful for the soldiers. And so overall, I have done a project that's required higher level of thinking and is applicable to the real world.